If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. My name is Liz, I go by Liz Glams. If you are new here, welcome. I do some hair, a little bit of makeup, a little bit of beauty. We do a little bit of everything. I'm more so a lifestyle vlogger, but I do do hair, makeup, beauty, glam content as well. So if you're new here, be sure to smash that subscribe button and join the family. As you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you how, step-by-step, step, how I install this 40-inch wig that I'm going to make from scratch, how I color it, how I create the wig, install it. And I have a 36 inch that's going to be closer to like the top. And then I have one, two, three, four, five bundles of 40 inches. Transparent seven by seven lace closure wig. And this is the closure that I'm going to be using. This is what it's going to look like. And you can see like oh, on my hand. This gives you an idea of how it looks just without customizing it, without customizing it and without plucking it. So this is 22 inch, 36 inch, like, you know, after the closure and then the rest is five bundles of the 40 inches. Straight out the pack, what I like to do with my hair is I like to make sure that I get all of the particles, dirt, oil, whatever is on the hair, I need to get that off of the hair. Because I'm going to be coloring this hair, I'm gonna be coloring this hair a blue-black color. So I'm going to transition it from this like brown color, the natural 1B color that you see on the hair, I'm going to transition that into a blue-black. The color that I'm going to be using in this video is semi-permanent blue-black, blue-black, by Kiss. I steamed my water, I boiled it, and then I poured it in here along with a little bit of Dawn. And then I'm going to use some clarifying shampoo. This way, this will detoxify the hair and remove any type of chemicals, any type of products, or anything that they may have put on the hair that I don't know about. This is going to help detoxify the hair, clarify it, and get everything off the hair that we don't want. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of this. This, you can buy this at any of your local beauty supply store. You know what, actually, I don't even think the beauty supply store has it. You can buy it at your local CVS, Target, Walmart. You can buy it on Amazon, Suave brand, wherever those are sold, wherever this brand is sold, you can pretty much find that shampoo anywhere. But I really love this shampoo because it's very gentle, but it definitely does the job. So yeah, this is how the hair looks straight out. And I'm just going to begin to put it in and then from there, I can see, you know, I'm just going to let it soak for maybe a couple of hours. So I put all of the bundles, all six bundles, and then I also put the closure in here as well. And I'm going to just let it soak for about 30 minutes or so, make sure everything is kind of like off of the hair. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to follow up with the color. As you can see, the, the water kind of changed colors. So from that, you can already see that pretty much there was some product or residue that was left on the hair. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and empty this water out and begin the coloring process. So I am going to go ahead and start this process. Just gonna thin out, cause um, my frontal, or my closure looks pretty good. This is a seven by seven and it's a transparent. So I really don't need to do too, too much to it, but I am gonna do a little bit of plucking throughout the center. I'm gonna mostly be wearing a center part with this frontal. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of plucking throughout it. And then uh, after I pluck it to my liking, I'm going to then begin to color it. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So come on now. Oh, 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 oh,
So here I am starting off with the lace closure. I'm going to sew down the lace closure first to the dome cap. And here's what it's starting to look like. Just sew it down first, get it out of the way because it is the hardest and you want it to lay very, very flat and seamless. So tack down all of the edges, the corners, and this is what it should look like. And then you can go in and start sewing your bundles. I feel like once the closure is complete, it makes it so much easier. Everything else should kind of start to go by faster. So here you'll see me starting in the back. I used a just a clip or something to tie down the bundle at the end of the dome cap so that it'll be as flat as possible. And it also makes it easier to sew the wefts onto the cap faster. Okay, so this part can be a little bit tricky, but basically what I'm doing is I'm taking a needle and thread through the end of the frontal or the end of the closure. So I'm just taking it through the that corner of the closure and securing it with a knot. That way it'll be nice and secure and that closure is not moving or going anywhere. Okay. Once you are done sewing all of the wefts and the frontal or closure onto the dome cap, this is what it should look like. You're gonna have like a little bit of extra space. And here is where you're going to begin to cut off the cap. So cut around all of the areas that you sewed. Be careful not to cut the string because then it's gonna undo everything, but you just wanna cut that extra flap off of from the dome cap and you wanna cut around the edges and just snip out all of the cap at the top only all right so once you cut off all of the extra dome cap this is what your wig will look like before you are ready to install it so i'm just going to go ahead and add an adjustable band in the back of my wig because the sizing is a little bit off due to me just trying to be extra loose when i was sewing because i didn't want my cap to shrink so I just always add like a little adjustable band and now I'm going through smoothing it out and just, you know, getting it together, styling it. And you guys know I like to go over with some alcohol just to remove any dirt, oil, or makeup that I have on my hairline before I get ready to adhere and use any type of lace glue on my skin. It'll stick and last a little bit longer if you clean your skin with alcohol before applying it. I'm just going through with a high comb and pressing out my hair because I noticed that when you go through section by section and actually take your time with flattening and pressing out every piece of hair on a lace closure or a frontal, it makes all the difference in your install looking a lot more flatter. Okay, so I actually still suck very much at doing baby hair. I don't like a lot of baby hair, but I always end up doing like extra baby hair because I don't know how to do baby hair. So I'm still struggling in that area. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look for this hair. So a couple things that I did do differently with the hair that you may have noticed 
is I'm going to stand up so that you can see it because I did actually decide to cut the hair so it is no longer 40 inches like I originally intended for it to be. So I did actually cut the hair because I did not like the ends. So the ends of the hair were very straggly. You can kind of still see uh, if you just, you can kind of still see that the ends like I did a hell of a lot of work to make it so that it's not straggly but the ends were just way too straggly for my liking so after i made the wig you saw that i put the wig on i yeah the closure is fine like i really really like the closure honestly i am going to when i take this wig off for maintenance i'm going to go ahead and pluck this this freaking frontal I mean not frontal I'm gonna pluck my closure a lot lot more because it's just way too thick it's very very dense for my liking so I think I'm gonna go ahead and when I take it off for maintenance and do like my shampoo and my cleaning and everything I'm going to go ahead and pluck the closure a lot more to just make it look a little bit more realistic and more hair like and then when I put it on I didn't put it on proportion enough because I was trying to put it on on camera and it was just a lot going on so I put it on and it's a little bit more on this side so that's why when I move my hair back you can kind of see that the lace stops right here but on this side it comes down a little bit further so when it's actually like centered it'll be like right here so but besides that yeah this is the end result for me making this wig if you have any questions about how I made the wig what I did or any questions about any of the techniques that I did um i tried as best as i could to make this video very very simple and just straightforward and very visual i'm not really like you know i try to make it as very simple straightforward and visual as i could so with that being said yeah this is really that's like the end look for this wig and i really really like it it really looks really really good my curls honestly have fell a little bit which is i don't mind but when it is curled it looks really really like you know voluminous it looks really really good it flows really really nicely so that's all important for me i did cut a lot of layers in this hair so i didn't show y'all but i did end up cutting like a lot of layers in the hair just because there's a big there was a big difference in length between the 40 inches that's on the bottom where and the frontal the frontal i mean the closure i keep saying frontal because it's so big but the there's a there was a big length difference between the closure and the 40 inches so i cut a lot of bundles when i cut the ends of the hair i ended up cutting a lot of more layers in the hair so that the hair would flow very nicely and evenly with the rest of my hair so you can kind of see a little bit how if you notice How it kind of just moves very very like it moves very nicely uh it's because i cut a lot of layers because at first it was not doing all of that so i just had to finesse this hair you know cut some layers and so it'll give like more movement with the hair more volume and just overall just flow very nicely because my closure is 22 inch so 22 inch and 40 inch is very very different in length so if you don't cut it there's no in between and the hair will not flow like this does so I, for the most part i'm going to be wearing this hair and you know like how it is now like wavy curled or crimped so with like a lot of what waved or wanded styles or just curled styles the layers will just flow very very nicely as opposed to just wearing it straight if you wear the hair straight and it's longer like this it really doesn't matter if you have layers because you don't you're not going to really see it because it's all going to be straight versus when it's curled it will you know just flow a lot more nicely thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button like this video comment anything that you have to say below any comments questions concerns or anything that you just want to talk about just put it in the comments below i'll be sure to put all of the details about this hair and all of the details about today's look and what i did in the description so be sure to check that out and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching Mwah.